Are you somebody that's about to take the FAA Part 107 test for the first time? Or have you already taken that test, but your two-year license is about to expire and you need to stay current? If so, this video is going to help drill down to everything you need to know. So let's start off with the initial test. Now, the initial test has new testing parameters and more content that you have to study for. Let's cover what they are. They include nighttime flying, flying directly over people, and remote ID. So they're adding those three parts and content of questions into that test that you have to be prepared for. Now, if you need help to prepare to take the initial test, we have a very comprehensive online prep course. So if you want more information on that, please visit our website. We have a full blown out promo video that goes over all that. Now, once you get that initial test, you can now get the ability to fly at nighttime without applying for a waiver. We talk about that in another video. Now, if you're also current and you're about to expire or are going to expire soon, let's talk about what you need to do as well. So if you're about to expire, there is no more recurrency test. That means you don't have to go to an FAA licensed facility, pay a lot of money and take a test. Now it's a lot easier of a process. Now all you have to do is go to the FAA website and sign up for a two hour training course. And at the end of the course, we're going to have you complete a short test. Now, that test is from all matters of what I've already experienced through it and I've taken it through a lot of the feedback through other people that I know is it is a rather easy test. So the test is a lot easier where it used to be the recurrent test was actually harder than the original test in many aspects. So now the best part of this is that it's free of charge. It does not require any money. And you can take that at any point. You don't have to wait for when your two years is up. You can take that one year, two years after. It doesn't really matter when you take your recurrency test as long as it hasn't expired. Now, a frequent question we get is, what if my original license has already expired? Do I have to take the initial test again? The answer is no. All you got to do is go to that FAA website, register for the course, and you're good to go. So those are the changes that have taken place toward the beginning of the year. And I hope this helps answer any question that you have. If you have any more questions, please write them down in the comment section below. We'll be glad to spend as much time with you answering all the questions that you have. And if you haven't yet, please help us grow the channel, subscribe to our channel, and we'll be able to provide you more fresh content more frequently. Thanks again for watching. We'll talk to you soon.